Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And welcome to a booster opening right here on Timmy Talks. I'm kind of excited because we don't open a lot of boosters. I mean, it doesn't happen often. This booster was sent to me by Dan from Denmark. He's a member of the Herloon Heroes. And uh, he's a cool guy, man. I want to give a you know, shout out here to Dan for sending this and allowing me to open it and enjoy the cards. Thank you so much. Um, it's just great to share it here with all of you. Before I open it up, it might be interesting to know that this was the first compilation set ever in Magic's history. So you can imagine it had quite an impact on the game. I also made a video about that and where I go through my own Chronicles collection. So there's an info card popping up right now. Maybe that's a nice thing to check out after this video. Um, you know, just to, to make a long story short, people weren't happy. You got to take into account that in those days, for example, a legend, Nico Bolas, was one of the chase creatures. And all of a sudden it was reprinted in high amounts in this new set, Chronicles. So people were like, what's going on? Where's the value? And yes, that did end up into the reserved list, that whole discussion. And uh, when we look at the back of the pack, which I think is always really cool, I do love these packs. They're nice and shiny golden black. Is here contains the following cards from the following expansions. And then we see the Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends, and the Dark, the set symbols. I just think it's really, really cool. And uh, the set got released in July of 1995. And uh, it was a difficult time for Magic, I think. But then again, it wasn't really because the game still here was still successful. I remember these packs. I didn't buy a lot of them. Um, also because I didn't have a lot of money. But in hindsight, I think the set is really cool. There are some really nice cards in here. I'm hoping to maybe find a, you know, City of Brass. That would be so sweet, like a pack fresh gem mint city of brass that would be awesome i've got four chronicles copies but the condition is kind of what you know so i'd love to have a good quality city of brass another card i'm hoping for here is concordant crossroads i only have two so maybe if i have a third one they're all chronicles maybe if i have a third chronicles i can start building around it that would be pretty sweet um another card i'm um, hoping for that has some value is astronaut's altar and I think when we're talking about cards with value, there are not that many in the set, but I think Blood Moon is, is pretty good. Um, but I'm actually not really hoping for a Blood Moon. Perhaps a, a Lance Edge would be, uh, would be kind of cool, kind of sweet, because I only have one. It would be nice to have two or three, so I can kind of build a deck. That would be nice. And I also love the Tron Lance, by the way. They're also in here. Anyway, enough chitter chat. I'm going to open this up. There are 12 cards in this booster pack. And again, thank you, Dan, for, uh, for sending this over. That's just awesome. Okay, here we go. So we're opening it up. And there we see one of the first uncommons in this pack. Here we go. It's a Yawgmoth Demon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it around. Because behind this, there are two more uncommons, possibly a rare. But I'm going to turn it around. We're going to check that out later. So let's see. Here is that Demon. And then we're going to put these two cards here as well. And then this should be a common. I hope I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. We're just going to... There's only one way to find out, I guess. Bam. And here is a Wall of Vapor. So a card from Legends. One blue and three for an 0-1 creature that reads damage dealt to Wall of Vapor by creatures. It, it blocks is reduced to zero. Wall of Vapor. Then we have Goblin Shrine. Oh, this is such a risky card to play with. So it's two red and one for an enchant land from the dark. And as long as target land is a mountain, all goblins get plus one, plus oh, which is awesome. But wait for it. If goblin shrine leaves play, it deals one damage to each goblin. And most goblins have toughness of one. So if you can destroy this one as an opponent, damn, you're in trouble with your goblin deck. Oh, this is nice. Civitri Scarzam, a legendary creature. Seven mana for a 6-4. And yes, that's bad, but... In those days, we love these cards. And look at that art. Absolutely awesome art. Let's see if we can zoom in properly. Very, very, very cool art. You don't see that type of art anymore by Nene Thomas, by the way. Here we see the Bog Rats. So Bog Rats cannot be blocked by walls. Urza's Tower. I'm super happy with this card. Love it. Absolutely love the Tron Lands. A pack fresh. I mean, look at the condition of these cards. Look at the art by Mark Poole. 
absolutely stunning. So very happy with that. We've got a remove soul, so a counter spell from Legends, but it can only counter summon spells. An Urza's power plant, another one. That is really sweet. Ooh, a blacksmith. This is actually a pretty good card. Protection from red, from, uh, <clears throat> sorry, from Arabian Nights. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I kind of, the word gets stuck there. Uh, one white and one for a one, two. Let's see how many cards we still have. Ooh, after this, only one more card and we're going to get into uncommon territory. So we've got the blacksmith. There we have the Wall of Heat, a 2-6, one red and two from Legends. And this is the first uncommon, the one we already saw, the Yachtmoth Demon, such a cool card. Two black and four for a 6-6 six, six with flying and first strike. This card is from Antiquities. And then during your upkeep, you gotta sacrifice an artifact or the demon deals two damage to you. And this is the bad side, right? If it deals damage to you, it taps itself. I wish it didn't tap itself, you know, if it didn't tap itself, it would be perfect. And then we have a rabbit wombat. This is so cool with the Fijuran Enchantress. Absolutely love to put those two together in a deck. Absolutely killer. So an O1 creature for two green and two summon wombat and rabbit wombat gets plus two plus two for each creature enchantment on it. Attacking does not cost the wombat to tap. Okay, so this is the last one. Is it gonna be a City of Brass? Is it gonna be a Concordant Crossroads? Is it gonna be an Ashnot's Altar? Is it gonna be a Blood Moon? Da -da 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 Bam! Oh, a Lance Edge! Yeah, super happy. It, I know, it doesn't have a lot of value, but I love it because I have one or maybe two Lance Edge from Chronicles with a third one I can start building a deck. I love it. Damn, man. Thank you so much for sending this booster over. I am very, very, very happy here. We can see the cards one last time. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. And maybe it's nice if you could let me know in the, uh, in the comments how you feel about Chronicles and what's your favorite card of this set. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazink.